In this video, we are going to create a post and then select a category. So how are we going to do it? We are going to use a package called React Select. So you're going to have something like this. When a user click on the options, we are going to display all the categories that we have created and the user can select a category and then he or she can create a post. So it means that we are going to install this particular package, which is npm i react select. So here I'm going to copy this and then back to the terminal and shut down npm i and then install react dash select. So while it is installing, let's go ahead and then configure it. Let's get into the create post component, which is inside the component post and then the create post. Over here, we are going to add one more field called category. So here inside the initial values, you're going to have one called category. And by default, it is empty string. And let's duplicate this one for category. And we will say that category is required. Now let's get back to the back end and let's put validation on the post creation. So here we are adding the category here, which is this one. By default, we are making it optional, but let's add this validation as required and then set to true. Awesome. So let's continue. And over here, we're going to have one form data for the category as category. And then the value is called the category. Make sure to provide the exact name as you specified on the model as category here. So let's go ahead and then require that package as react select from react select okay cool so let's scroll down and we have a comment call category drop down which is this one so here that is inside the div for this category below the label we are going to display the select component as that all right, so inside here, we're going to provide an array of categories. At the moment, we don't have the categories here, which means that we have to fetch or call the endpoint to get all the categories. And then we will place it inside the React Select component. And lucky for us also, we have the API already for fetching the categories. In this case, this one. So we are going to use react query to fetch all the categories. So here, let me collapse these guys for the mutation and then the formic. And down here, I will say fetch. And here we're going to use use query here. And as a function and object provide query keys. And then it's going to be array and I will say category list and then second argument is going to be the query function let me check in case supposed to be query key let's check supposed to be query keys or query key yeah this one and this one is going to be the query function which is this and let's assign and the structure what we want equal to that we have access to the data and i can rename this one to use what is called categories data and then it's loading and others so i think i have is loading so let me remove this and let's lock the category data and let's see 
let me open the console i think my server is not working or running yeah so let me run it and let's see for some reasons we have this error as undefined oh sorry it's supposed to be use query but not use queries this one yeah sorry guys this one instead all right cool so now let's refresh it and as you can see we have the categories here as that so we can go ahead and then display it in the react select so let's bring back the react select component and let's see and this is what we have so we are going to look through these categories and then place it inside the react select so let's get back to the code and inside here we're going to provide these properties name make sure to specify as category and then provide options and the options we're going to look through the array of categories and then display them so here i'm going to pass in what is called the array of the data and then i think on that we have let me check yeah we have it as categories so here as data dot categories and then i'm going to look through by using map and then we have access to the individual category as category here or cat for short let me use category to make it more descriptive and inside here we are going to return and provide value the value here is going to be category dot category name that's what we specified as category name here awesome so here as that and then provide a label and the label is going to be this one and i think for the value we are going to use the id only yeah the label is what the user is going to see and the value is what we are going to send to the server because for the post it needs the id of the category so now let's see something and now we have the categories here being listed here as that so now if i select these ones then i can go ahead and then create the post by the moment we are not binding the value to the form so let's go ahead and then add one more property called on change so here as on change and here we're going to pass in a callback function as that and then in here we have access to the individual options as option and let's go ahead and then return and we're going to use formic dot set field value we are binding to the form and then provide the category then the second argument is going to be the option so here as option dot value awesome and lastly is going to be the actual value so here we're going to look through the categories so i'm going to bring this one here and then we're going to use dot find as a function call we have access and then pass in callback function and we are going to return it immediately as that so here we have access to the option and then we are going to return the option dot value if it is equal to the formic dot values dot category awesome and let's provide some class name to it as margin top this is Tavin css class names and then block and with use foo here and then let's bring in the error message as that all right so now let's try out i'll go ahead and then create a post 
and let me copy some text here and I will say react select and let me increase the font and then paste that this one instead and then category select react and then the I think as you can see that when I click on that it cannot select let's check the console and value is not defined on line number 141 let's see uh, i think it's option dot value yeah this one okay so let's try and now i can select so let's select this image always one image at the same time so let's create and let's see i think category is required meaning that we're not able to have access to the category here well the issue was that on the back end we are not accepting the category so let's get into the post controller and in the creation as you can see we are using the description image and then the author so here let's also destructure the category also from the front end and then pass in here as the category now let's try supposed to be this one let's console log the rec dot body from the back end and let's try let's see and we have the category here what is saying that it is required oh sorry it's supposed to be category sorry guys it is typing mistake category and let's try again and now it worked awesome so if i check that particular post let me check inside here and we will see the category being associated post and then supposed to be post but not the plans and let's locate the last one which is this and we're gonna have category field and we have it here as category which is this awesome so what has left is that when we display all the posts, we are going to display the category also. Let's continue in the next video.